The thing about using the relax tool with the uniform edge weight setting is that it flattens out the UV map very drastically, which is okay if you're trying to even out around the outside of the UV map, but when it comes to evening out the areas of the face, it can cause some problems. I'll demonstrate on the nose here. I'll select the UVs around the nose, and when I click apply, you'll see that it flattens out the nose beyond recognition. This will mean that the texture artist will have severe difficulty trying to texture the nose because they can't see where each part is, like where it begins, where it ends, where the nostrils are. So I'm just going to undo this with Command Z. Here we are. And going back to our Relax UV Options box, we're going to select the World Space option under Edge Weights and make sure Pin Unselected UVs is still turned on. I'm going to select the UVs around the nose, particularly around the nostril area where most of the overlapping UVs are, and I'm going to continuously click Apply. As you can see, the nose is still recognisable. The World Edges tool has flattened out the UVs, but still tried to retain the shape of the original polygon model. I'll now move on to the ears. Same thing again, except with the ears you have to be very careful. I'd suggest doing each part at a time. As you can see, this is quite a lot of work, but just spend it's good to spend time on it. Do it carefully and make sure you don't disrupt any of the flattening out work that you've already done. you want to you can turn up the maximum iterations this is a very fiddly bit here right inside the air hole just be very careful just select tiny areas and fix them until it's all bright purple. You may need to make a few manual adjustments with the pivot tool around here. So just finish it off with the pivot tool basically. Okay, so that ear is now finished. I'll just move on to the next ear. I'll run through that very quickly using the same methods. Okay. Both ears are now done. 
I'll just move on to the chin and use the same methods. World space and I click apply. And the lips. As long as the shape is still recognizable and there's no sign of any dark purples, reds, blues or pinks, it will work fine. And I'll do both the eyes. The eyes can uh, probably be fixed by using the pivot tool to move UVs into place, like so. I'll do the same thing on the right eye. I'll give it some relaxing world space treatments and then I will move some UVs into place using the pivot tool. Now all of the UVs are even and flattened out in a two-dimensional UV map. We're almost ready to start texturing, but there's just uh, one stage left before that. Scaling down the UV map is a fairly quick part of the process. The reason why we do it is because we need this whole UV map to fit within the texture area. If we turn off the toggle shaded UV display, you'll see that only the center of the UV map fits within the texture area. This means that the left side of the UV map and the right side of the UV map cannot be textured. It also means that the texture we have here will be duplicated on either side and we don't want that. So to start with, we're going to straighten the left, right and top edges of our UV map. Make sure you're in UV modes, so right click and go to UV. Let's begin with the top edge of our UV map. So we're going to shift select each of the UVs across the top and then press W. Now next you need to snap these UVs to the grids. So how you do that is you hold down the X button and then you grab onto your pivots and drag it forwards. As you see here, we've got a perfectly straight top line. Now I'm just going to bring this back down very carefully towards the rest of the UV map again. Next, let's do the left sides and select all of these UVs across the edge. I'm going to shift select this one right at the top. And now again, holding down X, I'm going to use the pivot tool to snap this to the grids and now we've got another straight line. Finally the right sides which you do using the exact same methods as on the left sides. Okay finally we're going to scale this entire UV map into this shaded Lambert area. So drag select all of your UVs. Now press the R button on your keyboards to bring up the scale tool and simply scale your UV map down. Okay we've got a lot of space here so to fill this textured area up as much as possible we're going to scale this UV map back up on the x-axis and the y-axis. It's always good to make sure that you have a little border around the outside of your UV map. So now our UV map has been scaled down, it's time to create a PSD network for this image so we can apply texture. 